day 18 third october lead code challenge the problem that we have in today is count and say here in this question you are given an integer n what you need to do you need to return the nth term in the count and say sequence and now you are going to ask me how do we generate this count and say sequence i'll be talking about it in the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it get on to the problem the problem says you are given a string let's reduce the problem into a sub problem let's assume you are given a string and for each character what do you need to do you need to count the frequency of that character count the frequency and then say that character out loud so what i am trying to say let's take this as an example so how many consecutive ones are you saying right now there are three consecutive ones so what we will do we will say count the frequency of one contiguous ones so it comes out to be 3 then you say the character up so the updated string in the next sequence becomes 3 1 let's proceed ahead next we have is 2 2 has a frequency of 1 what we are going to do we'll add 1 because this is the frequency of 2 and followed by that number so we added 1 2 let's proceed ahead next we have is 1 what is the frequency of 1 the frequency of 1 is 1 so let's go ahead and add one that occurs at one time so one times we have one occurring let's proceed ahead next we have three occurring three times so let's write the frequency first the frequency is 3 and what is the character again it is 3 let's proceed ahead next we have one so it only occurs one time so write one one next we have four it occurs one time so let's write the frequency first followed by the character so the updated string becomes Three one one two one one three three one 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 four, and this would be the next number in the sequence of count and say. This is what you need to do. You are given an integer value n. The starting element happens to be one, uh, which is a starting string. N is definitely going to be greater than one. Now you need to generate the nth sequence. So let's generate three sequences, and then we will conclude the logic. So for n equals to one, the answer would be one. For n equals to two, let's write it up. You have this pre previous string, and you need to uh, repeat count and say sequence over it. So we have one one times. So this becomes one one because the frequency is one, the element is one. Now this becomes your reference point, and let's assume you want to generate the next sequence. So we have one occurring two times, two two elements. The frequency of one is two. So let's write two. The frequency first followed by the character. This becomes the next sequence. Now let's generate the next sequence as well. We have two occurring only once. Let's let's write one two. The frequency first followed by the number. Then we have one one, because the frequency of one is one. So this becomes the next sequence. Let's generate the next sequence. One is occurring only one time. So write one one. Two is occurring only one time. So let's write one two. First the frequency, then the number. Then we have two occurrences of one. So let's write two occurrences of one. this becomes your next sequence you can generate the future sequences by yourself just remember you need to identify the frequency of each character and write that frequency up followed by that character this is it to conclude it further let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i've just talked here you start from the base case you take the input string as one as a default case for i equals to 1 you goes up till n and with each iteration you update the result that is that you get from count and say helper you pass in your base string to start with and with each iteration the value returned will be set in s once you are done with the entire for loop whatever value is stored in s you return it as the answer so the problem reduces to writing this uh, helper method appropriately which basically accepts one string performs count and say sequence over it and returns the result so let's walk through it uh, we have a uh, use string builder instead of string because strings are immutable a string builder is mutable and it is uh, thread safe as well uh, you start you check what is the previous character you start with s equals to 0 whatever character is there by default the count frequency would be 1 and you start the iteration from i equals to 1 goes up till the length you check till the time you are seeing the same character same consecutive characters you are incrementing the frequency uh, count basically stores the frequency and once you have uh, you observe that there are different elements for example you got triple 1 2 so at this position you will see there are different elements what you are going to do you will store the result that is generated from 
the frequency for one over here so the count would be three and the element here would be one so the previous value that would be stored would be one and the count would be three you append it to your result and you reset those up so the previous going ahead would become two for the next reference and the count gets reset to one let me just comment this now once you are out of this for loop there will be some value stored in count and previous you append it in the same order as you are doing it over here for the last iteration uh, when there is a string termination happening uh, in the end you simply return the result so yeah, submit this up accept it with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel your subscription truly means a lot to me Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow with another fresh question, but till then, goodbye.